he was saying. We are not guaranteed lives free of pain. But number nine, and we must go on, we are guaranteed that God lives with us as Christians. God lives with us as Christians. God lives with us as Christians in the midst of our crowded and noisy and dangerous and often under construction journey of life. He lives with us. It's wonderful. Now this is one verse uh, you may want to write down the reference. Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. It says, Christ in you the hope of glory. Colossians Chapter 1, verse 27, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Now, I'll say this with you, that many of you may recognize the name of Elie Wiesel, a renowned Jewish theologian and prolific author. He has a book called All Rivers Run to the Sea. But what he pointed out in that book was, among other things, what the Jews went through in the Holocaust and as they were, became prisoners of war, as they were incinerated in the gas ovens. Millions of them were. And he said, the person that stood out the most in their town was a Christian lady by the name of Marie. She was not a Jew. She was a Christian lady. But she helped Jewish people. She brought food and fruits and vegetables. And uh, she, she did not have one degree. She was uneducated. But she stood taller than the city's intellectuals and dignitaries and, and the clergy. She, he said, really, it was a simple, a simple, devout Christian woman who saved the town's honor by what she did. You remember this from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Listen to these verses again. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and a faith to remove mountains but have not love, I'm nothing. If I give everything I have to the poor but have not love, I'm nothing. Someone said love is choosing to do what is right no matter what you feel. It's choosing to do what is right no matter what you feel. Well, finally, we can live without fear. We can live without fear, number 10, for God is with us no matter where, where we will find ourselves. You know, we can live without fear because God is with us no matter where we find ourselves. It's finding our way. We're all on a journey. We're on a trip. This life is not all there is. This life is really preparing us for eternity. You may want to jot down this verse reference. Ecclesiastes, the book of Ecclesiastes, you know when it says there's a time to kill, a time to love, a time to hate, a time this, and on it goes in chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes. Verse number 11. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men. He has set eternity in the hearts of men. So I challenge you today. Allow God to help you find your way to Him. And then rely on Him moment by moment. And help others to find Him. Encourage others that they can find Him as well. To trust Him. And you be an encourager. And pray and read God's Word. And if you've stopped reading the Word, start again. Because they say it takes about 21 days to establish a good habit. And get into the Word again. And uh, invite others and get excited about Sundays and serve others. And uh, see, there are all kinds of needs here today. We're all needy people. Like, I, I could say you're needy, but I'm not. That wouldn't be the truth. I am needy. We're all needy people. And we need to pray for self and for others. And when I say that, help them find their way to God. Now, I want to ask you a question today as we close. Who led you to Jesus Christ? 
Don't answer out loud. You may want to tell me se separately. That's fine. But who led you to Jesus Christ? Now the people that led me to Christ are already in heaven. But if possible, if you can still do it, thank them. Send them an email. Better still, if you can visit them, or send them an email or a letter or make a phone call if you can. And if they're already gone to heaven, thank God for them. Just thank God for that. Now, what would they want you to do if you've already found your way to Him? They would want you to help others find their way to Him as well. No, when we came here, Jane and I, we did not know if you would accept us or not. We didn't know that. We didn't know it. But we feel loved and we thank God for you and we love you. And you accepted us. And praise God you've done that. And we're, we're blessed by you doing that. And we thank God. Now, just think about it. There are many more people in our area who need to be accepted and they need to be loved and helped so they can find Jesus Christ personally. And you know what? Some of those people aren't even Korean. We're not Korean. We're not telling you it's bad because we aren't. No, no. You see, you still loved us. And uh, we want to thank, just think of one person now before we close. Think of one person this week. Ask God to put their names on your heart. That you can contact them. To try to love them and accept them. And encourage them to follow Jesus. Let's pray. Lord God, go with us, we pray. Thank you that we can find our way with you and have. But help us to keep following. And help each of us to reach outward to others. Oh, we pray in the strong and wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Number